Hi everyone, uh, welcome to March um, and welcome to my new, um, I don't know how long I'm going to keep this, this is just one of the white walls in the place that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm renting at the moment, because in the meantime I've relocated to Cyprus um, last Thursday, so I've been here for four days now, um, and if my voice sounds weird, that is because I have what one of my friends calls uh, the relocation plague, uh, I got a massive cold. Um, part of the process, part of the hard work, part of um, sleepless, sleepless nights, and also, um, hi dears, uh, also um, waking up early to get to the airport and then getting used to a new country, it's all part of it, so I'm trying to embrace it, but if I start coughing in the middle, that's because my throat is absolutely killing me. So um, last month I had a lot of focus on self-care. Um, this month I want to um, go a slightly different route. And today I want to talk about uh, pursuing your dreams and desires in your own way. And I know that the people who know me and my clients know that this is something that's a really big deal for me. Um, it's so easy these days to go online and find out what other people are doing. And there is just so much noise out there that it becomes so easy um, to forget to just sit still for a moment and listen to your own uh, inner wisdom and know what's, what's right for you and what you want to do and what's your process uh, and what, 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 what just works for you. Um, I see in, in the groups that I'm a part of, I see a lot of people um, struggling, but most of the time the struggle is because they're trying to, they're comparing their own process and pace and what they're doing and, and, and their failures and their successes with that of other people. So, um, and I do this with a lot of my coaching clients. Like I just have them, you know, sit, sit with their own successes for a bit and just have them write down what they're doing, um, and how they're feeling about that. And then what they realize is that when they look at their own process and they compare it to, um, their own last year or the month before, then they see the development, then it becomes much more easy. Um, like if you keep track like that of your own process, it becomes much more easy to see that you are growing and you are going somewhere. Um, so yeah, most of the stress I see and most of the people freaking out and most of the um, burnout in writers I see around me is because there is this idea of how it should be uh, and when you're not, if you're not able to do it that way, or for some reason that's not working out for you, then you must be doing something wrong. And my point, my point has always been, it will always be no, there is no right or wrong. There is only what works for you. Um, and once you figure that out, and once you get confident in that and feel secure about that, that's when you will um, be able to just do what you need to do and let the other voices just, you know, talk 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 it's very like don't don't not go online um and avoid these voices because yeah i mean other people talking to other people can be very inspiring and they can be it can be very helpful if you're stuck somewhere and you need uh some inspiration or like what should i do about this but it's so easy to just get overwhelmed with all those voices uh, that you that, that your own voice is drowned out so try Try for maybe this week, uh, if this is something you're struggling with, try to um, sit with that for a little bit. Try to map your own process and also your goals. And it's funny because actually this is, uh, I remember when I started my blog, uh, I wrote this four-part series um, sort of as an attempt to um, criticize the prolific author uh, discourse that we have. You have to publish fast, you have to do it this way. Um, you need to publish a book um, every so many weeks, uh, otherwise you're not gonna make it. And that's exactly why I wrote uh, the, the wrote those uh, blog posts, and I'm still it's still the message that I'm spreading. And I also know it's not a very popular message um, because yeah, a lot of people. Some people are it's like, if you can write a book every month, great. That's great. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, but that's just not for everyone. Other people have different processes uh, in terms of pace and also uh, in terms of um, just just makes me think about uh, if you haven't catch the interview I did um, last week with John Robin the author of a thousand roads we were going to talk and we did talk about that um, 
the topic of our interview, our, our discussion was uh, the high and lows of the, the um, uh, publishing, uh, of getting from the first draft to like the published project. You know, how do you how do you do that? Uh, but of course, interestingly, uh, what we ended up talking about is the fact um, that a part of the struggle is that you feel you're too slow or you're taking too long or you're not doing it the way you should be doing. So a lot of a lot of the struggle is just you worrying that you're not uh, up to speed with everyone else. Well, the whole idea is that you will find your own speed. You find your own ways. Um, and so go back to that interview. <coughs> Sorry. Um, go back. To, if you haven't seen the interview, go go look at it. Uh, I'll, I'll drop the link below. It's it's really. Um, I do think it's it's really useful. And interestingly, um, the interview for next month is planned already. We planned that um, like two months ago. Uh, and the topic there is also. I'm going to talk uh, with Amy. Um, who writes Yakuza novels, uh, her, um, Japanese mob uh, novels. Uh, she's, she's brilliant. Um, and we're going to talk about finding um, the importance of finding the, the a writing process that works for you. So this is, an on, this is for me, uh, um, an ongoing topic. So, so do check that out as well. Um, because I think a lot of our struggles die down the moment we realize oh, this is just how I do it and I'm fine with that and I'm just going to roll with it. It's just, you know, the... the the fight comes from being reluctant um, in admitting to yourself whatever they're doing, that's just not my way. I need to do it differently. Um, so yeah, um, try to look into that. My, like, can you hear this? Um, <clears throat> so another thing, uh, and I'm sure I've, I've talked about that before, uh, if this is one of your struggles, you could also, um, I'll drop that link below as well. Like I made this, uh, I created this, this, this worksheet, this three day worksheet on limiting beliefs. And if one of the reasons you're comparing yourself to others is because you have certain limiting beliefs about the writing process and how it should be, and you're ready to rewrite those and make uh, new ones that are more constructive, um, and more celebratory of your own writing process, um, Sign up to my newsletter and you'll, you'll get, you get that um, three-day uh, worksheet. It will help you through the process of you know, tackling um, these particular leads. And if you already have the worksheet and you've used it uh, for something slightly different, do realize that you can uh, use the worksheet for all kinds of questions. Um, because every part of the process has its own um, struggles and challenges. So you can use uh, the worksheet for every part of the process. Um, so do 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 check it out. If this is something you're struggling with, with um, taking the uh, taking the time you need to find your own writing process and, and whatever works for you, do check that out. Um, yeah, I have a list here of what I'm supposed to talk about. Yeah, another thing, uh, what I promised on Instagram. Um, remember in in January, I did. Uh, I gave well, it. It was not a giveaway. I uh, offer to pay what you want coaching sessions for anyone who's on the fence, anyone who's been following me and is like, I don't know, uh, do I even need a writing coach? Um, I don't even know if she can help me. So I did that in January just to see what would happen. And it's been such a rewarding experience. Um, like I met these two amazing writers and we had two amazing sessions um, and I just left it up to them. Like I told them, Mrs. Pay what you want. So if you, after the session think this was not worth my time, don't pay me anything. It's all good. Um, if you feel like, yeah, yeah, this was definitely worth it. Pay me whatever, uh, whatever you can. Like one of them paid me more than I usually charge. Uh, so that was a very, for me, that was a very rewarding experience. Like, oh, that was validation uh, for me. Um, so I'm going to do that again. Like last month was crazy, you know, with, uh, with me moving uh, to a different country and just finalizing everything I had to finalize before for getting here. Um, but yeah, I decided to start doing that again for as long as it's fun. Like the moment I'm like, yeah, this is no longer fun for me. I'll, I'll stop it. But for as long as it's fun um, and it's, it was it was a really amazing experience, I'm going to do this. So just say that you're watching this and you're like, oh, this is exactly what I'm struggling with, finding my own process, my own way of fulfilling my dreams. Um, if this is something you're struggling with, I can definitely help you with there. Um, so then sh shoot me a message uh, if you want one of those pay what you want coaching sessions. Of course, if you want to talk about 
anything else. Uh, like my clients use the co these coaching sessions for anything related to writing. Like I have people who just get one session with me because they are they're stuck somewhere in their plot and they just use me as a sounding board and I just you know sling ideas at them until they have the. So this is this is what I need to do. I've had that. I've also have people who have trouble uh, prioritizing their writing because of their family, and they just need to vent um, and and find strategies of how to deal with that, like how to prioritize that. So there is there's different ways, uh, and, and there's different uh, not ways. There's different reasons why people hire a writing coach. Of course. You can you know send me a message um, about one of these sessions um, for whatever reason, whatever reason you're like. Yes, this is the sign uh, I need it, that I need one of those sessions. So I'm giving, a, a, as I said, I've been setting up, I'm going to talk to them in a second. I've been setting up a giveaway. So I've been, I'm using the word giveaway. It's not a giveaway, it's pay what you want. So it can be a giveaway if you decide uh, at the end not to pay me uh, anything, then it will be a giveaway, of course. Um, so there are two sessions. So if you want uh, one of those sessions, uh, shoot me a message and we'll, we'll set up a time um, Time zones don't matter to me. I have clients from Canada to uh, Malaysia. So doesn't really, really doesn't matter to me. Um, so the giveaway thing, I'm going to talk about that and then I'm going to quit because <clears throat> I just hear myself losing my voice. Um, the 17th of March, and I already talked about this in an earlier life, the 17th of March will... Um, I'm as a wordsmith will turn five. I had no idea I've been doing this um, for five years already, and of course it changed it. Like it, it, it changed. Uh, like I started out uh, doing purely uh, academic work, and then I gradually, um, so I coached uh, academic writers, and uh, um, and I edited their work, and then I gradually started to work on on fiction uh, and nonfiction. Uh, so it's also it's never it, it was never a static thing. Like my company is evolving all the time, which I like. Like I like I like change. I like new challenges. I like growth. I like developing myself, um, see what's next. Um, but because it's five years and that is something and I, I'm, I'm really bad at celebrating things and that's like I always tell everyone else to celebrate uh, um, things. So this is a milestone for me. Like I never knew I was going to keep that up. And I, when I started MS Wordsmith, it was, um, it was, I had the attention of having that like as a small company next to my real job, which was my teaching. Um, but in the meantime, my teaching, like I, I quit teaching two and a half weeks ago and now MS Wordsmith is my full-time job. So like I said, like it's, it's, been, it's been a journey and I want to celebrate that with you. So the 17th of March, and I just made the event on Facebook, so I'll add that um, as a link in the comments as well. The 17th of March, um, it's a Sunday. I'm going to be um, live for pretty much most of the day. Because, first of all, I'm going to launch my new uh, year-long program. It's going to be called uh, 52 Weeks of Writing. I'm going to uh, launch that. Um, and I'm going to launch that for a nice discount uh, for those watching. And I'm also I'm going to give away one of them. So anyone who buys it within the first week has a chance of you know, getting, uh, getting their money back uh, by the end of the week. Um, because I'm going to do this big raffle. Because I'm also going to um, give away pretty much, I don't know how many books, I still have to count, but like my favorite writing books. Um, so like literally, like I have, I have a few here. Um, for example, I'll be giving away a copy of uh, On Writing by Stephen King. That's one of the, one of the books I'm giving away. Um, so that's a real that's a real book on writing. Another book I am giving away is uh, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. One of my uh, favorite. It's always funny because I always like I have these two books, and even though I love Elizabeth Gilbert, I'm not always a fan of her tone. I'm more of a Stephen King kind of girl. Stephen King is much more um, so. Read this page. So you read the page, and then at the end of the page, um, he's like. If you just realize what I did, then you're a writer. If you didn't realize what I did, it's okay. Just big another job. Um, and that's, that's much more uh, my style. Like it's, it's a bit more harsh, but uh, I, I like that. Um, and Eliz uh, Elizabeth Gilbert is, it's, it's much more, um, let me take you by the hand. Uh, and it's, it's, it's all going to be good. It's all going to be fine. Don't worry. Don't stress. 
uh, which some people need. Um, but it's just like she changed. Um, she changed how I feel about the creative process uh, to a very big extent. So that's why, despite the tone, it's still like I still recommend this book to a lot of people. So I will be giving away a copy of this one as well. Um, and then, and I've shown this around before as, I, as well, um, a copy of Virginia Woolf's A Room of One's Own. And I know that um, when, I sh when I talked about this one, um, a lot of people responded like, I'm going to need that book. I'm going to need the book. I need to buy that book. So just, you know, join me on the 17th of March and you'll get a chance to get a copy. I don't know if I can get you like this very gorgeous, special, um, yeah, it's a Penguin Classics. I don't know if I can get you this particular version. Um, I will try. Uh, but there are like so many, so many prints of this uh, this particular book. Um, but yeah, more. There, there's more... Um, I don't. I didn't bring all my books uh, because I already. Um, my brother is coming over tomorrow, uh, and he's gonna bring a lot of my books. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'll show some of them on my tablet, uh, and some of them I'll be giving away as an ebook as well, depending on where you're located. So we'll we'll, we'll figure all of that out. It's gonna be fun. Um, so just stay tuned for that as well. As I said, I'll drop the link below. But it's gonna be a fun day. And yeah, it might be a little weird that I'm celebrating my birthday and I'm giving away stuff, but it's just, I think it's just my way of giving back um, to this community who's been so very supportive of all the new things that I've been, been doing in the past uh, 12 months. So yeah, I think it's time uh, that I give something back uh, to you all. So this is it for today. I'm going to drink um, my weight in lemon and ginger tea now. Um, if you have any questions about the pay what you want sessions or the birthday party, you know where to find me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.